everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> Failure is raw, necessary, inevitable. It's a part of growing up, a part of being genuine, and a part of evolving into a better version of you. We can all learn from our failures, and they lead us, in the next, lead us to the next step in our journeys to becoming great. They may seem small, irrelevant even, but every single one of our failures is shaping the person we are becoming. I've experienced my fair share of failures. I try to embrace them. I feel that it is crucial to contemplate them since they often lead us to bigger and better things in life. In September 2016, I began a personal journey filled with more failures than I can count, one to plan for my future. My mission brought piles of thrown out ideas and a lot of bumps in the road. Self-doubt was an eminent part of the process. I dubbed my mission project, What Am I Going to Do With My Life? Deciding a big name was only fitting for my huge pursuit. I wanted to figure out what I'd do after high school, not completely realizing the scale of my undertaking. I can assure you that I had my fair share of mental breakdowns and frustrated stints, as would anyone. Starting grade 11, there were two groups of people. Those who knew what they wanted to do with their lives and those who had no idea. I clearly fell into the latter of the two groups. The career counselors at my school spoke to us like we had all had our lives planned out for ages, when in reality, most of us had no idea what we were doing. Being the incredibly type A person that I am, I went into panic mode. That stress inspired or forced me to devise a plan. By the end of my grade 11 year, I would know what I wanted to be when I grew up, not realizing that this would be the biggest challenge I've ever faced. Alongside normal, everyday life, things are going to get a little crazy. I knew that I was capable of pursuing whatever I wanted, but I was torn. Torn between what I wanted, what I thought would be good for me, and what other people wanted. There were so many jobs that I could choose to pursue, but I was never quite sure if I'd love one enough to stick with it. My mission wasn't going to be nearly as easy or straightforward as I had initially thought. I have a tendency of getting myself into situations like that. I'm on stage speaking right now. I knew I could do whatever, but I needed to find my whatever. I decided to job shadow. I needed to see people doing their real jobs. I job shadowed in the ER, and I loved that experience, but I knew that the medical field was a very competitive one and that the programs took a very, very long time. I wasn't sure I'd be able to survive medical school, so I reevaluated that plan. I did learn in the emergency room, though, that there are other important things that could be taken from this experience. That failure led me to better things. I learned in the ER that I liked people. I appreciated the medical field because of the variety present in every single day. Work was never monotonous. I loved the personal aspect of the career. By exploring medicine and denying it for the moment, this got me one step closer to figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. Next, I passed through a brief period of mum. You have got to believe me, graphic design is my calling, which was quickly terminated by a little bit of personal realism on my part, and I realized that graphic design maybe wasn't exactly for me. I did realize, although, that I had another challenge on hand. I needed, I needed to find a career that both satisfied what I want, that I would love, but that also told my parents that I would be successful one day. I ran to my dearly beloved youth council coordinators, Jesse Mann and Grant Kerzinger. They told me that even they had no idea what they wanted to be when they grew up, advice that both reassured me and made me wonder. Why was I in such a hurry to plan for my future when I had time to decide? Everyone changes their minds, right? Subsequently, I connected with someone who has completely changed and who continues to change the course of my pursuit. Christine Knurek, who works in, works in marketing for the Lloydminster Co-op, and I crossed paths in late 2016. I approached her about job shadowing since her field was one that I had yet to explore. In the process of our meetings, I was constantly making personal progress, coming closer to a choice than I had ever come before. Presently, I'm interning two days a week in Christine's office, this being a huge privilege that I am incredibly thankful for. I encourage anyone who is unsure of their future plans to job shadow and to get an idea of what it's like to work in a specific field. The biggest issue that I encountered during my process wasn't that I didn't have passion or that I didn't know where to look. I was my biggest problem. As I mentioned earlier, 
my strong type A personality makes me very hard on myself and I refuse to settle for anything less than what I view as perfect. The pressure I put on myself, put on myself makes me want to be nothing but successful one day. The most valuable lesson that I learned throughout my process was that that heavy burden on your shoulders really helps you grow. I was, and I'm still, completely terrified that I won't succeed one day, but that is often overshadowed by the, by the victories and advances that I make. Growing up is an odd process. We go from babies to toddlers to school-age kids, and then we grow up into teenagers so quickly. We go to school for years, but nothing can prepare us to take on the world by ourselves. Some people are lucky enough to know what they want to do after high school, and others like me are less certain. I'm sure there are some more of my fellow mind changers here this evening. Those who wanted to be astronauts in grade two, then marine biologists in grade six, and lawyers in grade nine. And then we get to senior high and we realize that we really have to make up our minds and that is terrifying. It seems like everyone around us has their lives together and we don't. And in reality, most people don't. Your journey to figure your life out is going to be a roller coaster ride. I started my journey off being blind to the challenges that I would face. For about two months, I did nothing and I thought I had stagnated, but this wasn't the case. You're constantly moving forward and making progress. Finding something you hate is a victory. It's one idea crossed off the list. Embrace your victories. Learn from the uncertainty of not having a clue. Remember that a failure really isn't a failure at all, but merely a part of the process. Thank you.